this first lane is the slow lane. The advantage is no one's really going to aggressively tailgate you. It's smooth and comfortable. Another rookie mistake, this, is, this means we can change lanes. Also, the semi truck, there are four no zones. Stay out of the no zones. Now we're gonna be passing through another connector ramp and the volume of traffic will get really tight. You won't get cut off. That is the passing lane. See both of those cars change lanes. I do not want to tailgate the semi truck. That bar that's at the back of that tanker truck. The government has tried to pass more rules to have that bar reinforced so our car in the event of a rear end collision will not go under because we have crumple zones on the left side corner, right side corner, the passenger side rear corners. But in the event of a sudden traffic slowdown, our car would go under there and the top would be ripped off and then your instructor would not be here anymore. So we're gonna stay here for a moment and you can see traffic left and right. A defensive driver keeps space, analyzes traffic flows and is able to make a good decision based on the conditions of the road. A rookie, you would just see the truck in front of you and you would actually speed up by putting us in danger. So for educational purposes, I'm gonna stay in this lane. I'm gonna tell you the following distance once this truck passes the bridge. 1001, 1002, 1003. Each lane has an advantage and disadvantage. Excuse me, moving. The goal of a beginning driver, a rookie driver, a fresh driver is to stay smooth, 